This video shows you how LeBron James is dominating into his late 30s. LBJ just dropped his second triple-double in three games, he had two chase down blocks, and in his last eight outings, he's averaging 38-7, two steals, and one and a half blocks per game. It's mind-blowing to think the man you're watching highlights of is turning 37 in a few weeks, but the king is still balling like one of the best players on planet Earth. Stay tuned to see the main factor to the defiance of father time from James, and every reason for why Le Goggles is rounding into MVP form. Before continuing, only 12.9% of you watching right now are subscribed, so if you haven't already, please subscribe. Also leave a thumbs up, it takes a few seconds and makes a massive difference. 19 years of NBA mileage has been racked up for LeBron, which has included 1,592 games combined between the regular season and playoffs. In most playoff games ever played, James ranks number one among all players in the history of the NBA. Ahead of postseason legends like Derek Fisher, Tim Duncan, Robert Ory, and his good friend Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, who was recently quoted as saying, goats don't dance, in a jab at LeBron after his showing against Indiana. Here's why it's insanely rare what LeBron is doing right now and why it's something we should all appreciate witnessing. The next currently active player even close to James in total playoff games is Andre Iguodala, all the way down at number 24. And the next currently active all-time great is Kevin Durant, ranked down at number 40. My point is, this is some next-level defiance of father time we're seeing from James, considering every other player in the top 23 of all-time playoff games retired quite some time ago. And it's not only the fact that LeBron's merely defying father time that's mesmerizing, but it's the fact that he's keeping his place among some of the best players in basketball. Last year, he dealt with a multitude of ankle injuries, and to start this year, it was an abdominal injury plaguing the King. But after a 21-point win in OKC, speaking to Mike Trudell in the walk-off, LeBron talked about how important it was to get the victory, and how he was impressed with how the team looked on both ends of the floor. Bron said, quote, I'm starting to get a lot healthier as the season goes on, especially with my low ab and my groin. That's been feeling a lot better as of the last couple weeks. That message could be a game changer given James hasn't been able to find a rhythm and stay healthy for a very long period of time, really since the 2019-20 season. That doesn't mean he didn't have his moments in 2021, as before he went down with an ankle injury, James was in the MVP conversation. From how he's getting to the basket in the posts, and when he's going downhill, whether in transition or in the half court, to how much fun he seems to be having between the lines with his on-court antics, this seems like a physically and mentally fresh LeBron James. That's no doubt a scary sight for other West contenders, no matter how much he's quote-unquote fallen off. But having said that, Street Clothes Davis needs to get his game together, and the Lakers supporting cast around James isn't looking the most elite. That hasn't harnessed LeBron in the past though, just think about the Cavaliers teams he carried to the finals time after time, even when Kyrie and Kevin Love battled injuries. Maybe this isn't the 2018 version of James, but given the newfound health and two-way flow he's found over the last 10 games, LeBron can still carry a large portion of the Laker offense. Versus Orlando on Sunday night, Bron displayed one of his best performances of the season, recording his second triple-double of the year while leading LA to a home win. Ending with 30 points, 11 rebounds, 10 assists, and 3 blocks, James was soaring up and down the court, evidently free of any physical restraints. Following the game, LeBron said the catalyst for the performance was good sleep and having the opportunity to watch his son Bronny a night earlier. Quote, getting the optimal rest, getting into my REM sleep, but also having the opportunity to fly down to Phoenix and see my son play ball. He inspires me. I felt really good waking up today after watching him and his team last night. James and LA's 106-94 win came without Anthony Davis in the lineup, and the Lakers are now 3-0 in games where the brow is unavailable this season. That could have some real implications, as last night, the Lakers even went on a dominant 23-0 run at one point, resembling the team that won the 2020 championship, which they hadn't shown off in a hell of a long time. I'm not individually blaming AD, but it's possible the man's having a slight negative impact on the team. The Lakers have a plus 10.3 net rating with LeBron on and Davis off, but a minus 5.8 net rating with LeBron and Davis both on. Having said that, the three wins that have come without Davis have happened against lower-tier opposition, 
with Indiana, Oklahoma City, and Orlando all near the bottom of their respective conference standings. Conversely, James has dominated those three matchups, averaging 34 points, 5.3 boards, and 7.3 dimes. When he doesn't have to worry about Davis getting touches in the post and bricking mid-range jumpers, LeBron seems like the Cleveland Cavalier and second-year Laker version of himself that won a championship. Now with a 15-13 record, the purple and gold are trying to shake off what's been a completely mediocre start. Up to this point, the one and only answer to their problems has been letting James take over, like he has been for nearly 20 years. Even though he's missed 12 outings with only just a quarter of the season completed, when he hasn't been on the pine, James is once again carrying a major load. Braun's average of 36.8 minutes per game ranks fourth in the league, only behind Fred Van Vliet, OG Ananobi, and Miles Bridges, with that trio nine or more years younger than the Lakers' superstar. That's not too surprising if you heard this message from Braun in the preseason. For one, I don't play the game thinking about injuries, and also, I feel worse when I play low minutes, end quote. There's simply no time for LBJ to rest right now, with the efficiency on both sides of the floor plummeting when he goes to the bench. Anthony Davis missed the second straight game with knee soreness, with the 28-year-olds continuing to be a regular on the injury report with a variety of ailments. Of course, like it's been in years past, the eight-time All-Star at Power Forward holds the key to taking the pressure off James. Unfortunately, AD hasn't come close to filling that role as we approach the halfway mark. But merely two weeks from his 37th birthday, LeBron James put on an absolute show for the Staples Center crowd last night, looking every bit like his overpowering self. At full strength, which has been a rarity since the bubble, there's no question James can carry this Lakers team into contention for home court advantage in the first round of the playoffs. You just get the sense there was hope he wasn't going to be leaned on to this extent. As of right now, the Lakers are just a game and a half back of the Memphis Grizzlies for achieving that opening round series home court advantage. With another win in the books, the post-game routine will include some film with Bronny and of course a good night's sleep before the Lakers head out on the road for a three-game road trip with stops in Dallas, Minnesota, and Chicago. LeBron went on to say after the W against Cole Anthony and the Magic, quote, We always try to figure out ways we can be better, not just individually, but for the betterment of our team. It's all about playing hard and playing for your teammates and trying to figure out how to win the ball game. I feel like we're starting to round second base. We want to continue to get better and better, but I love the way we played the last couple games. While the Lakers have been alternating wins and losses a lot recently, nonetheless, it's encouraging to the long-term outlook of the team to have James not only getting back to near full strength, but also performing at his current level in the process. It's been a frustrating season for the Purple and Gold, but if James can get things kickstarted, it could be the spark this team needs to finally make a run. For next video shout out, What's your most memorable LeBron James moment of all time? The top three commenters with the most shoutouts by the 25th of December are going to receive NBA merchandise in the holiday season, so leave your take on today's question to compete in Community Speaks. Today's Speaks winner is Luke Davis. Pause to read his great take on a potential swap for Ben Simmons. Thanks for every great take. Hope all of you watching have a great one. This was D Flow, and I'll see you next video.